Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another wonderful episode of The Dice That Bind Us. Uh, feel free to follow us. Obviously, you're watching this on YouTube here. Um, please check out our Twitter, our Instagram, Discord, and Facebook pages. You can find us over there. Follow us. Check us out. Um, you know, we'd love to engage with all of y'all. Um, and without further ado, Alex, if you wouldn't mind queuing us into what we all went through last episode. Of course, of course. Uh, Ian, proud of you. One take intro. Well yeah, done. no, I'm just a professional. Yeah, professional is what hell. I can say. Uh, yeah, I'm back to do the recap. And for what happened last week, y'all know what it is. Stuff happened. Let's move forward into the game. No, I swear I'm to just God. kidding. Uh, so what happened last week, uh, it was my first week back in the DM seat full time. And the party was greeted by a somehow self-replicating, I guess, the, is the best way to describe it. Uh, what seemed to be multiple versions. Mantosis. Mantosis. Love that. Uh, essentially, this, this person had many versions of himself that were uh, manifesting around him. Uh, but you knew that this main person, this person you were interacting with, his name was Kane. Um, Kane came to you in an attempt to gather your power with far-flung plans of committing deitic genocide, I guess. Uh, he ultimately his plans were to gather as much power as possible to be able to slowly start stealing the power of gods themselves so that he could ultimately collect it all just long enough to disperse it evenly to the power scale of the cosmos and the universe so that everyone was on an equal playing field. Um, so you guys fought him. Uh, <laughs> went blows. Uh, combat was going. At some point, Coda was locked with him in a box, and it made me very sad. <laughs> um, but continuing forwards from there, our dear sweet Ileana just asked the question, why? And there wasn't a lot of real straightforward answers on why, and so a conversation began. In the end, this conversation circled back to... Uh, a deal. Cain would give the power he had gathered up till this point, at least some of the power he had gathered, to a couple members of the party. In exchange, those party members would give up any and all forms of deitic power that they gained throughout the rest of their journey until Xerxes had been stopped. They would give the, any extra power, including the ones they had just received from Cain, back to him, with the caveat that it could not cause any sort of negative effects, such as, say, destroying one of the deities in the process, etc. And the deal was accepted by both our dear Tapartos and our dear Ileana. To Partos, gaining the aspect of death. Ileana, the aspect of life. On top of that, and this is a reminder mostly for my players, he warns you that you had about an hour until an extremely powerful presence arrived, but gave no context as to what it could be. No indications of evil or good or chaotic or lawful or any of the other range of powers that you have seen throughout the world. And so, my friends, knowing that at time of recording, it is 7.58 p.m. MT, you have one hour until something arrives. The world is yours. I said what I said. Oh, yeah. The rest of you weren't here during this. No, it's a real life hour. Oh. Uh, we did something like this in a one shot that y'all might see someday. Oh, fuck. Okay. Take a quick rest. Short rest. 
Yeah, I wouldn't say no to a short rest, especially, you know, rest, recoup, kind of figure stuff out. I mean, either that or we run. But the boat's broken. It's also not necessarily a bad thing. I know. Yeah, give me one second. I might have something to help figure this out. Because if it's going to take like an hour to get here, it's probably not in range of a lot of y'all magically folks things. Right. Oh, also, we forgot to mention our lovely Ileana is here. Their camera's just fucked. So they, <laughs> they are here. Um, on that note, though, Alex, do you have anything to tell us about any effects about the, the recent transference that Illy and I have felt? Are there any... I know you've mentioned some brief things about, like, you know, the flowers around me sort of decaying and dying while Ileana's, like, bringing life out of the wood of the ship again. Um, DM, Father, of- did you get them their god write-ups? Yeah. Nope. Great. I will let you... I have the I have the concepts on. I just haven't put them in writing, so if anything comes up that would pertain to them, I will let you know. That Sounds goes good. for both of you. Cool, cool. But as far as mechanics are speaking, just operate within the idea that something is different, but we don't know what? Yes. Now, there are parts of the boat that are still on fire, correct? Uh, Yes, but only very slightly. It was being used as, like, a a heating source and a, like, campfire, essentially. Oh. (laughs) But is the boat mostly whole, like, or is it broken in half, or... Uh, So the, the ship looks like it just blew out from the center, Okay. And so there are chunks of wood missing. It messed with the crystal underneath. Okay. And it crashed down. So the front of the ship is pretty much destroyed and they're sitting at a, a slightly eschewed angle. Are our rooms still intact? Uh, you guys did a pretty thorough search. For the most part, yes, your rooms are unscathed. There's things that have been jostled around for sure, yeah. but intact mostly, yes. Okay. So if we're going to wait for this big, powerful thing to come visit and talk with us and whatever, I'm going to go to my room and rest. That sounds smart. Um, This is going to sound really dumb, but should we like put out a sign? Like, we've got a bunch of burnt stuff around here. We could probably draw something with charcoal, be like, hi. Just like, hello, you've run into the chosen ones. If you're here to kill us, we're in the boat. Uh, mostly like. No, no. If you're here to we kill us, we are in here. the chaos dimension. If you come you're to kill us, we're not. in the big spiral. We, uh, we could try that. Xerxes I'm beat you really to suggesting- it. We offer ourselves up to somebody, but, uh, you know, scrying or communication magic aside, which I'll be honest, I don't have anything prepared right now. All right. Have a what are you going idea. to check in on your big girlfriend? Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm in so much fucking trouble. Oh, Ileana, go for it. Speak words. Uh, so um, can we all meet back at me in like 10 minutes? I'm going to start casting that telepathic bond thing that I like to cast on us. Um, Gergak, would you mind flying out to meet the person with me? Whenever that's done, we can talk with them. We'll lessen the risk to the party. Worst case scenario, I'll teleport you and me back, and then we can dip or prepare to fight from there. Yeah, I'm done for that. Does that sound like a good plan with everybody? For me? Sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'll sit down and start uh, ritual casting um, Rui's telepathic bond. That happens. I'm going to dip down into my room. There might be some banging, some clattering, some crashing, some swearing, lots of swearing. <laughs> uh, my average Tuesday. Yeah, pretty much. So, no, um, do some running in place, push ups, jump jacks, getting ready, getting real pumped going. up. Yeah. Used to your old body. Yeah. 
going to let everybody know either together or individually. If we need to, again, I can get us all out of here. I cannot save the ship, but if worse comes to worse, when I signal, get around me and I can evacuate us. I can get us out of here too. We should have multiple escape plans. Pretty sure almost every spellcaster can get us out of here. Oh, I have a staff that does really cool stuff. Then listen for a signal if we need it. Whoever needs to take the matter into your hands, okay? I'm just going to sit down on like a pile of broken wood and just take out my book and start reading. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I, I'm not useful here. I don't have much preparation, so I'll just keep a lookout, I guess. And just like start flipping through my book. Sounds good. I'm going to go have a conversation I'm not even kind of prepared to have. Okay, so you're going to spend your 10 minutes talking to Mook. Yeah. Okay. Trying. Hope she's alive. Our- Ball's in your court, bud. Oh, fuck. We're starting with me. I thought we were going to other people first. Um- <laughs> Most of us are just vibing. Bring, bring, bring. <laughs> Not how that works. You just say a message. Unless your message is bring, bring, bring. <laughs> no, it's not. We just got back from the Feywild. Are you there? In the Feywild? No. No, no. no are... Hi, are you okay? It seems as though a lot has happened since we've left. How long were you there? To be honest, I don't particularly know. Uh, My mind was put into a tiny ferryman's body and tortured for what I assume was only two days but it seems as though we've been gone closer to about two weeks. And yeah, um, a lot has happened. So I've gathered in the couple hours that I've been back. Are you okay? I'm great. That's good. Can you tell me what happened while we were gone? Little things, big things. No, like, that was a question. So. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I need a few more details than that. Um, well, I suppose a little of everything. I will let you know. Um, we met a very scary man as soon as we got back. Uh, we are missing about half of the crew. The ship is on fire. Um, we're putting it out. Um, We've been bequeathed more god powers. I think I have some now. Um, We've been told that the weapon was completed, which essentially means that what we were trying to do is kind of moot now, even though we received the spear tip from the Feywild. All the dragons are dead. Xerxes is now all-powerful, and everything's kind of fucked up right now. Um... If you'd be able to fill in any cracks there of anything from how was your day? Where are you? What are you doing now? To what is the socio-political balance of the global infrastructure? It would be like great on any level. Uh, I and the troops we had gathered and waiting are currently in Waterdeep helping rebuild. Uh, after the dragon's attack or after something else? I mean, it was a dragon attack, yes. All there was was reports of a, the biggest dragon anyone had ever seen decimating right. the city. Yes, we were there a couple of weeks ago when that happened and we killed her. And then we got stuck underground or under the ocean, to be fair been a lot of being stuck. I'm really sorry. Yeah. 
Um, I've also uh, been. Uh, I've also gotten stronger since you were gone, or since the last time we spoke, at least. Amazing. And I've kind of realized that everything we're doing is meaningless. You mean? The giants are going to do what the giants are going to do. The dragons are going to do nothing ever again. Um, what's the point? I don't know. I really wish I had some words of wisdom or some inspiring speech to give after this, but I don't know. In all reality, it sounds like my part in your journey and your friend's journey is over and done. The moot point, like you said, we failed. Unless you still plan on sieging giants' fortresses for some reason. I don't know. I would have to confer with everybody else because this is all so much bigger than me. I think that's kind of the issue that we've found ourselves in here is that everything became so much larger than us. So much larger than what all of this is, all of what we want, all of what we're trying to do. We are... You are in a situation where you are fighting the world. Right now, we are in a situation where we're literally fighting gods. This is so much bigger than what we ever planned it would be. And I, I've been trying to keep the little things in mind. And I think the world is escaping us. I still want to let you know that I... Sorry, you were saying. When you're doing something as large as what you and your friends are doing, as grand scale, everything you do affects thousands and thousands of little things. So if you were to focus on every little thing that came your way, you'd never actually accomplish anything. And if I'm being honest, you and your friends focus on the little things, the small victories, led to a massive defeat. I'm not blaming you because I would have done the same thing in your shoes. But there comes a point where you need to decide whether you're a hero to the man walking down the street, returning a man's or returning a woman's stolen coin purse, or are you saving the world? Because you can't do both. You have put into words in two minutes what I have been fearing for a year. You are right. Which are you? I'm going to save the world. And in that not only have I already given up on so much of who I am, my tenets, my faith, my morals, my commitments, 
I will have to continue to do so. And what you need to due do to my mistake, which is fair, is pull your head out of your ass. Be the leader your team needs you to be. And get some shit done. No more floundering. No more being the Tapartos that left your town. Your camp, rather. Like a village. Well, now we're getting into population numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's sort of a nomadic thing, but you know. That Tapartos is gone. And he needs to be. Because that Tapartos was charming and innocent. but was not a hero to the world. He was indecisive. He had no goals, he had no purpose. But at some point you must understand that your faith cannot be your only purpose. It needs to be the power that fuels you to achieve your purpose. Yes. Yes, you are right. I know. I know you know. I know I don't have to say this, but I am sorry that I failed you. It's not me you failed. You're one of the people I failed. I'm still here. I know. And I'm sorry I failed all the people who weren't. I'm going to go do what I have to do. I'm... I will fix what I can. But I am going to go stop what I know I must. This I promise you. And this I promise me. Thank you. If you ever need us, we're ready. But giants are small fry compared to what you are dealing with. Something tells me when it comes down to it, we will need all the help we can get. I will call for you if I need you. You can always call for pleasure as well. You know, just a quick check in every now and again. I should do that more. Yeah, you should. We've been a little busy. I'm going to pull that card. We've been a little busy. I'm sorry. No, I get when it. I'm not calms a priority down. in your life. It's fine. No, I, you know, I'm just a back burner type of person. Well, don't pull this right now. I'm you know joking. what's going on. I know you do, but you also know that, it's, that I get so red so easily. This is what you have to get over. Fuck. Okay. See that, what I did Yeah. There? So yes, I get it. it back on itself. Yeah, it's because I'm okay. Fine, you're I'm funny wise. and you're charming and you're good at this yeah, and you're a great pep you. talker and I appreciate it. I'm going to do the best I can. Okay. No, you're not. I'm gonna fucking kill Xerxes. Okay. You're goddamn right. You are. Yes. Yes, and then I'm taking you on vacation. Thank God. Well. Thanks so much. You know what I mean. Yeah, I get it. Praise you think about where you want to go. Bullshit giants say, I don't know. Um, I didn't do it. Um, great. I'm going to get ready to come close to dying again. We got something coming. Don't know Good. what. Not to find out. Wish me luck. You don't need it. 
Wish me strength. You have that. Just give it to me. Don't die. You too. Bye. During the last being generous 10 minutes, <laughs> was anybody else doing anything specific or just resting, waiting, trying to get ready before Ileana casts her spell? Uh, I called out for BB. Okay. Uh, I will resolve these in an order based off of how difficult they are going to be for me. So whatever would I... Anybody else? <laughs> You're reading your book. Ten minutes is not like super long, so we'll get into that later. Uh, Gagax getting pumped. Lie down, give myself a pep talk. You just spent your ten minutes talking to Moog. Oh, great. I'm just working and- out, waiting for... Oh, sorry. Go for it. Oh, I, I was just wait, uh, <laughs> going to work out and do that stuff until uh, Tabar just got done with his call. I went down to my room and started by reorganizing and, and resetting all the stuff that had fallen and clattered, making sure there wasn't anything too dangerous that had spilled. Just a, a quick clean. Mm. And that will take 10 minutes. Sure. All righty. And then there's Zach. What do you what do you do or say to call BB? I just call out that is SB still alive. Go go ahead. Go ahead. Give me that role play in this role play game. Uh calling out to just A, BB, don't know if you're still alive, but if you are we, I still like that talk that we promised. Pull me a persuasion check. Thirty two. Thirty two. Yeah, Jesus I have a plus. I, I, rolled, I rolled an 18, but I have a plus 14 to persuasion. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Baby is not a peer. But you do get a message. Just a quick, like, little sending spell message. Just, Can't talk. Little busy. Find you later. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then, depending on how how long that took, I would pull out the book and cast Sending one time to Olan. Okay, what do you say? 25 words. I don't know (laughs) what you have been up to, but if you're still alive and are allowed to help, please come back. 22. I love you. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Uh- <laughs> OXO. It's so hard for me on those to not count syllables, but to count words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do not get a response. As an important note, you do know the spell connects, but it doesn't. You do not get a response. Uh, all I need to know is it connected. He, it, he it, can go, uh, it finds he purpose, can, yes. He can go through his own thing. I'm just ticking off who could still be alive and who's not. <laughs> 
Uh, it has been <laughs> 10 minutes. We will talk about short rest depending on and what Coda and Ileana, or Gergak and Ileana's plans are and how that times out. But yes, mm. I am I am keeping track. Everyone gathers back around after about 10 minutes. Ileana casts telepathic bond on all of you so you can communicate. The rest of you huddled back together. What would you like to do? I was just here for the spell. I go back down. I'll be going to check on my room now. I was I was just waiting for Ileana's spell because they asked nicely. <laughs> I'll uh, walk up to Tapartos and hand them a what's it called? Orb of Direction. I'll be like, hey, I forgot I bought this for you. It'll help you go in a direction. Just a compass orb? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> That's why I bought it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, here you go. Thank you, Garagak. Yeah, no problem. Arthos really, really needs this right now. Thank you. Hmm. I'll, I'll just give him a hug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just bring it in. Give some boy time. Oh, miss, I can't remember what I've forgotten. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, if we think we can, try to scry the area, scry what's going on. If nobody thinks they can, get some rest. Well, they're going time. to go confront this person, right? That's what the two of you are doing? Points at Ilya and Garagak. I yeah. mean, Ilya gonna say hi. Mm-hmm. No. All I'm saying is get ready. Yeah. Rest up. Tend your wounds. Let me know if you need help. Be prepared for whatever is coming our way. Open with kindness. Be prepared to use force. Always. And if the kindness doesn't work, work, punch them in the groin, regardless of orientation or bits, tends to hurt. Groins hurt. Can confirm. I'm going to catch a little bit of rest. I suggest you all do the same. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm fine. He's good. That's like the goblins here. (laughs) (laughs) So the game plan, just so I know, is just to fly at this thing. (laughs) So we're going to go out about 20 or so minutes. And then... um, you know, in transit, I'll talk with Gary Gag and just explain the plan is we'll get kind of close. I'll fly somewhere just like close by, but out of sight. I'm obviously a lot more squishy. So, uh, you know, we're all connected. So be like, just let us know when you make contact. You know, you're just going to be chilling up in there. I'll throw a sanctuary on you, throw one on myself and just try to be peaceful with it. If they want to be confrontational, um, do what you can to stall them and then just get back to me. I'll teleport us back to the group and then we'll have a good 20 minutes or so to actually have a plan. I mean, we can think of something else, but without knowing what we're up against yet, I mean, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Sounds good. We can be the scouting party. Yeah. Also, quick question. My teleportation, is that only during combat? Or can I technically teleport to any of my allies within 30 feet of me? If they are being attacked. Only if they're being attacked. Correct. Yeah. Just make The sure. ability works how the ability works. So even if it's yeah. on a surprise round or whatever, you can do it. Okay. But it is in response to... Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah I feel you. Yeah. Um... I you two need like a, per- a people person. I was going to say purple person, but that also aligns. Oh, you people two got me. this sorted. 
Uh, we we should get it. I mean, well connected. So like, worst case, just ask us what you're saying, Kogak. But I mean, I trust you. Okay. I have some questions. Huh? First, what direction are you flying? Did they not give us a direction that the nope. dude's coming from? No. Nope. Okay. They said something's coming and then fucked off. Uh, okay. I can commute um, with nature real quick to find the direction. Yeah. Takes 11 more minutes, but, you know. Still have 40 minutes. Yeah, there's not much else, not much else for doing. Okay. All right. Give me, give me that good community with nature description and tell me what you're using from it to find the location. Boop. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go with powerful celestial faith fiend elemental or undead. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, for sure. Uh, maybe influence from other points of existence. Sure. And then maybe the relevant plants, minerals, animals, or peoples. You, think? you sure yeah. don't want to look for more lakes? Or... <laughs> I do not need a body of water, I don't think, at the current time. Theoretically, there's a dry geyser about 100 feet over there. That's true. <laughs> I do know that one exists. Yep. A dryser, if you will. Um, yes. All right. Commune with nature. You want to know about prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or peoples? Yep. Powerful celestials, fey fiends, elementals, or undead? Influence from other planes of existence. Yep. Within uh, three miles. Awesome. You uh, let out your natural senses. And you start feeling the soil and testing the direction of the wind. A few animals around you kind of make eye contact with and they give you a knowing nod and scatter off. Eleven minutes later, a small robin appears and lands on your shoulder. Those Sir, reporting for duty. Immediately asks if you want to join the temp clan, you know. <laughs> I was like, hey there. <laughs> I come bearing reports, sir. No, oh, what do you got? Well. Truth be told. Jack shit. <laughs> you, you got nothing? At least he's within, honest. Within the three mile radius I was commanded to scour, I, I found exactly zero. Well, I mean, I could tell you about like literally every plant or animal or whatever, if you would like. Hmm. Uh, but as far as prevalency and importance to your situation, there was none. Powerful oh, celestials, fey fiends, elementals are undead. None. Hmm. Well, a couple, but they're all like right here. So, ah, <laughs> yeah, I know about them. As far as instruments from other planes of existence, if you would have asked me 14 days ago, I would have absolutely told you there was something. <laughs> as of now, nothing. Did you happen to feel anything? more in a di certain direction than others. That's not part of my responses to your question you've asked, Sam. What if since they're here, I use speak with animals? <laughs> you can do that. You want to keep it going and just ask questions? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's see if they sensed anything <laughs> in a particular direction, you know? 
<laughs> I go, oh, all of a sudden my free will is returned to me and I'm not supposed to just answer these three records of questions by all, by all means, ask away, whatever you want. Yeah, did, did you happen to feel any, you know, strong presence in a particular direc- direction during your search? Mm. There was uh, there was a mountain lion. Those are pretty strong. <laughs> Something that would be stronger potentially than me. Kind of like looks up at you, looks down. Hmm. That mountain lion looked pretty scary. <laughs> It, it is a bird. This bird power scale. That's fair. I like that I am sitting on this pile of like burning wood, just flipping through my book, watching Garagak tweet at a bird that has his wing like this the entire time. Just like yeah. what? Beep, 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 beep. God's yeah. name is happening. Uh, uh, this is a uh, Twitter. That's what they they call this. At least called him Tweeter. Yeah. Hey, hey, Gail Gag. On Usk? Yeah, yeah, we, we got it. Um, can you ask them if they've seen any of these around? And I'll pull out the stone floor and the pearlescent shard for the long potion, the long vest potions. Oh, sure. Hey, uh, hey, Rob. You mind if I call you Rob? Not at all. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> have, have you seen any of those uh, things that my friend's carrying? Laying around? Oh, sir. No? Got none of that? None of that. I probably would have listed that in the prevalent plants section. Ah. Yep. I look back at it. Like, nah, nah, Rob's got nothing. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions for me? From my understanding of your situation, you're on a bit of a time constraint and you are rapidly burning through it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ilya, uh, <laughs> Rob, Rob's got nothing. All right. Uh, okay, let's just chill here then. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Rob. It was nice to meet you. Oh, welcome, sir. Should you be of need me for anything else? Well, stay very close by so that I will be the one that comes to reports. Should you ask any more questions of the like? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you, you know, of course, if you got nothing going on, you could always stay and hang out. Fair enough. Yeah. We're, just, we're a bunch of group friends, you know? I always like new friends. I should have. Be your ever watchful companion upon your shoulder. I shall oh. constantly aid you in your battles. I shall ride forth and charge directly at any enemies I see in your oh. name. Okay, Rob's well, gonna... you know, you, you don't have to do that. I mean, you could just, you know. I will follow your orders to a T. Okay, okay, yeah, that works. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Rob. I will. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll just give him a little pat. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at first, if birds could express the same way we do, he looks a little like, how did... Oh, no, you know what? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, uh, we got no clue where that thing's coming from. Okay. We could fly up and just see if we see something. Yeah, I mean... Sure. Oh, insight checks the two of you. How and far Brian? is your like magic senses? Mine's super far. I have no idea how to determine that. <laughs> no, uh, I meant well, like detect magic or never mind. Detect good and evil. Uh... No insight. Nope, not needed. I literally just asked the thing that he was having us insight for. No. Oh. Because can't the boys said something about you all being able to see god magics now? Um, I don't have my detect magic source with me right now. Mm, that's fair. Well, I can make it dark. That's really all I got. Or if something hits me, I can hit it back. So, I d- what about you, god man? Else? <laughs> oh, you're you're uh, you, you told us you're a pirate. Right. Do you do you have one of those one of those thingies? You know the, the thing. Uh, you, you know the pirate you, thingies. You look through a spyglass. Uh, yeah. not inherently in my kit, but I could. Wait, did I get a navigator's bag? <laughs> Which bag did I grab? 
No, I do have this though, and pull out like a crowbar. Oh, well. So, put it back. Unlucky. I mean, there are other people around that can probably help you with this quick. Yeah, detect what magic about you, uh, bright pink priestman? Can you sense magic anywhere around? Yes, you, Tapatos, the one who's sitting in the corner blushing. I d- no. I mean... What lot of spellcasters hmm. are you? I, I will defend myself and say it's been a pretty rough day in general, coming back, doing all this. God's been put inside of me. Um... Like, that's cool and all, but there's a lot to wrestle with there. I just had a really uncomfortable conversation with my girlfriend. None of this actually matters, but I was also in a fairy man's body and haven't prepared diddly fucking squat for the last two days. 13. I'm going to, uh, just kind of, Garrick's going to stretch and just be like, uh, I'm going to need a con save from Tapartos. <laughs> a con save? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is this the con save or the giant fucking dies? <laughs> it's, it's a con save. Uh, it's a twenty-five. <laughs> that succeeds. Against <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Ian, do you have roll twenty open? I was um, using one to smiles. I <laughs> the smile. Since your yeah. did not come through I, here, so I'm assuming you don't okay. have level 20 open. Uh, it, w- it had crashed previously. It is now open. Um, I, I would ask beyond, tw- though. if you would, yeah, I, I rolled you, you're fine. beyond. Yeah, it's 25. What's your plus on that? Uh, plus six. Okay. Rolled a 19. <laughs> You'd have to fail real hard. Yeah. Was this a giggle stick? It was a one to smiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this forces a smile on him. It didn't work, but I'm still gonna. Okay. <laughs> you have about 25 minutes left. Well, this whole time that I've been in my room, I am drafting up four different versions of contracts. That takes much longer than 35 minutes. <laughs> They're short versions. Maybe you only taught me for like. Three hours. It's a bullet pointed (laughs) list outlined for future contracts. Fair enough. Because I can only talk for like three hours. I'm drafting four different versions so I can know where to keep going. I need a demon army. Yeah, I feel you. Demon and devil army. (laughs) uh, Since me and Lily aren't leaving now, I'm going to go to uh, (laughs) Argus's room. Just kind of like knock on the door. It's open. I'll come in. I'm going to give Argus a pot of awakening. <laughs> when the you... fuck did you buy all of this? <laughs> Silver Moon. Silver Moon. Or, uh, yeah, Silver all he does is just buy stuff when we're not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a pot of awakening. Uh, you plant it. And then after 30 days, the shrub magically transforms and breaks the pot. And he's friendly towards you. And he, get, he takes commands from you. It just it just hangs out because you lost your lion, so I got you a new friend to help with your stuff. Um, as you walk in the door, you see a new lion across the workbench, and you see the bag that I've been carrying parts and pieces in for the last few weeks or few days or whatever. But this one doesn't have the mane. This is not a male lion. This is a sleeker little more slender version. Um, uh, like, you went to the power mode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Put it nice. in sport mode, baby. Yeah. she's Her name isn't Dandy. It's Nala. We know. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually where I was going with it, but yeah. Okay. Well, I'll still come in. I'll set the pot down and give it to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Hey, Coda, is there anything you want to ask Argus if he can do for you by chance? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Argus. Uh, is there any way you have, like, a... Maybe you can make me, like, a little 
little scope thingy that helps me see distance. Yeah, that's what I meant for sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else would it be? Looking glass. Do I need something? Maybe. Uh, can you cast detect magic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, to you know, him or Gary I don't know about spells. <laughs> I reach up. None of you motherfuckers prepared to detect magic. <laughs> I never that, use Zach it. Zach has that smug look on his face like, ain't hey, nobody here come and ask me. <laughs> I reach over, grab a tube. I cast grab another magic tube, at will. I can do it whatever it. the fuck I want. <laughs> I, it takes me five minutes and I build you a looking glass. Oh. I'm going to say it doesn't take you any time at all. You're that good. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Argus. I got to go find uh, the direction of this, this thing where it's coming from. Good luck. Yeah. And I'll like bolt out the door and run back outside to Illy and be like, hey, I got the thing. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Is, is your eyesight better than mine? May, maybe. Would you like to look through it? And I'll just throw Illy on my shoulders with the spyglass <laughs> and just boof, fly up. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome. And I'll just kind of steady myself and I'll do my best. You know what? I'll pull out the shield, because yeah, I'm, okay. I'm smart enough to know that when I have that shield in my hand, I can see better. Don't know why. But, um, yeah, I'm going to look through this little, little spyglass thing. Roll a perception check with advantage, because you have a spyglass. Yeah. Goodness for that spyglass. Oh, we got a 24. 24. You do not see anything on the horizon anywhere away. Uh. I'm, not, uh, I'm not seeing anything, Gary Gak. Oh, you got nothing? All right, there's one caster left. I just get up and go find Tumult. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. We can just communicate, like, we can telepathically. Oh, yeah, we can telepathically. We are all connected telepathically. <laughs> all you had to do was ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll ping Tumult. Tumult, do you, can, can you detect magic and tell us where this this, this, this thing is coming from? Illy is a fellow spellcaster. Detect magic is 30 feet. <laughs> Hi, DM, tell you, your detect magics are on crack. Cast the spell. <laughs> <laughs> the Fair boys enough. told me I'll, I'll, I'll I know come, these things I'll come back out <laughs> I, like, I feel spicy I, I was like man I was writing contracts and shit I need, a, I need to build my demon devil army says out loud to the party for the first time <laughs> no I say it I'm out sorry, loud because we're, we're connected mentally <laughs> I can't think it yeah, what now? Oh, are you outside now? Oh, that was as he was leaving his room. He said it out yeah. loud. Oh, okay. Like, just trying to get my contracts. All right. So Argus over here. Too. I need to but take just Argus. I need to take over hell with the kitty cat. That without context of knowing who Ivan is is delightful. <laughs> Because, you know, well, I mean, the, the previous owner of Hell had ties with Xerxes, so why not, when I take over Xerxes, so my plans, why not have ties with the new leader of Hell? <laughs> Mr. Mittens and I shall go ever with each other, or shall go eons with each other. Roughly and I minutes. shall hire Mr. Muttons. Mr. Mittens. That's the no. damn spell, Zach. Yeah, I, time, <laughs> I, I just cast it. I do what I will. All right, you cast Detect Magic. Uh, the area around you in that 30-foot radius of the spell is, like, very precisely highlighted. Um, that is where you get all of your, like, I know the school of magic. I know this, I know this, I know this, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you do get several pings from around you in that kind of 30-foot radius sphere around you that, like, you see, like, your friends and the magic items you know they have and all that kind of shit. But you also see several pings in multiple directions. Uh, these pings that you get are vague, just out in the periphery of this aura 
and you see that kind of flying above you outside at 30 foot, there are a few faint ones coming from Ileana and Garagak above you. You get the similar vibes from the rest of your friends that have aspects, but there are more brighter ones scattered around you. You see seven. It's hard to get an exact pinpoint on their location, but you see seven separate pings of brighter color. The one that piques your interest is directly east of you. And the reason it piques your interest is because it is already bright and growing brighter. Hey, you're muted. Y'all? Yeah. Do we have a planar map anymore? In the fortress, I think, but not here. There's one in BB's room? No, there's one in uh, the lair. The dragon's lair. Oh, the dragon's lair. Yeah. Which I can take us to whenever we want. Yep. <laughs> yeah, technically, we could just eat out of here and go there. <laughs> and I set it up so you guys could use it as a home base. Like it was, it was designed that way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Is our teleportation circle on the ship still intact? Mostly, but you also don't need the uh, standing one to get there. Oh, you can just cast the spell wherever you are, and then it'll take you to a teleportation circle you know. And then doesn't it like leave a? Uh... Like an imprint, so we're like if we cast it to go back, we like go back to the spot that we went there from, or something. I don't believe so, but I haven't looked at that spell in a while because you guys had access to so. just no like, teleport. It was so. like an extra thing. It was like an extra thing that you mentioned. I only remember it because it. Oh yeah, 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 because like, it's like a uh, recall area, so you guys could go there, yeah. rest for the night, whatever, and then come back. Yes. You're yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Yes, you, uh, okay, okay. you do notice. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh, I was just going to say. Um, but tell me what you notice one that is like shifting and zagging and moving much more drastically than the others, and it is getting steadily brighter as these moments are passing. Is it the one to the east? <laughs> Correct, yeah. East coming quickly. <laughs> okay, Gary, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'll pull up my boomer flying, and I'll, I'll, okay, go ahead and lead the way. Okay, Every, everyone, be ready to lead. I will specifically or... point in that direction and tell Garagak that way. I was about to ask. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Now I'll just uh, yeah, you know, oof, shoot off in that direction <laughs> as fast as I can. How far back? Well, what's your movement speed? Um, sixty feet, right? Sixty feet. Yeah, unless I go god mode. Eliana, how fast is the broom flying? Uh, let, let me uh, let me double check there. Bridger's just thirty. Yeah, thirty feet. Okay. So yeah, so, I'll I'll let Gail Gag take that thirty feet every six seconds or so, and just you know maintain that distance. I'll also go at full speed. Oh, no, sorry. It has a flying speed of 50 feet, unless it's over 400 yeah. pounds, and then it's 30 feet. So, yeah, 50 feet, I'm only 10 feet behind every six seconds. Yeah, that, yeah that's good. So, 60 f- or 100 feet a minute. Okay. So, about 10 minutes pass. Mm, we'll say nine minutes pass. You know, let's call it an even eight. Eight minutes pass. <laughs> and right at the edge of your vision you see a humanoid shape very far off in the distance just kind of like a speck on the horizon can't really see any details currently but you know that they're on their um, like this is another person shaped thing flying at you Okay. And I see that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, tell Bathley, tell Illy. So right now you're about right now you're about 800 feet in front of Ileana. (laughs) Okay. 
Okay, um, I'll continue to approach, but slowly, and, like, what's our surroundings like? Like, like, what, do I see anywhere I can, like, hide? Is this, like, mountainous? Is it... Uh, you're, you're above a forest. Above a forest? Okay, um, I'll, like, kind of fly right above the tree line until I'm about... Mm, you are, actually, feet. you would still be inside of the spiral. So it is intermingling lines of completely dead and decrepit trees and fully like overgrown and lush trees okay um i'll, I'll approach to about 200 feet you know letting gail Gek know where i'm going and find like a good like lush grown area to hide in Perfect. uh go ahead and roll a stealth check for me i'll say your advantage because the tree covers and stuff Uh, 15. All right. Good to know. Um, so Garagak is just waiting in space, like in his space. You are hiding about 200 feet behind, but hidden. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, about another minute passes. <laughs> minute and a half. After that first minute, this, this person is getting much closer. And you see not just the shape. But six much smaller shapes floating around it in a circle. Trailing behind it. Oh. I'm going to assume it's Grim. You wait a little longer. The shape comes into focus. And you do see a snake man in a trench coat, cowboy hat. Fucker. One additional book floating behind him. Yep. As he kind of gets close, he stays about 100 feet away. Yeah. Hey. Well, wasn't expecting to see you. Yeah, what are hello. you doing out here? Oh, well, kind of felt you coming. I wasn't sure who it was, but this figure I'd come see what was going on. Didn't know if you were looking for us or Um, sorry, I had to roll real quick. Um, kind of like glances around. Well, honestly, that's the smartest strategy I've seen your group use before. Oh, send you out likely with an escape plan of some kind because you're the hardest to get rid of. Oh, are you trying to get rid of me? Do I have a reason to? I don't think so. Let me let you do your thing. Yes, like you yes. did. Yeah. How's your way to get back? How am I getting back? To the group. Oh, yeah, I got if these I was, Yeah, but if I was an adversary and someone looking to get rid of you, Flying away wouldn't get you very far. No, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> he kind of just like smirks to himself. Where are you at, girl? And just yells it out loudly. <laughs> <laughs> you see some leaves of us later to hear like a uh, like light giggling. <laughs> like, mm. Uh huh. Well, listen, unless y'all have come across something that may pique my interest, I got nothing for you. I'm on my way to run an errand. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think we have anything. Nothing new, really. Just us. I kind of poke my head out at this point, smile and wave, and slowly fly up. Okay, you fly up. You see he's kind of eyeing you, Garagak? Oh. I'm like, hey. Did you just <laughs> knowingly lie to him? <laughs> no. He's made the face of, I just remembered we do have something he wants. I don't, I, uh, to be <laughs> honest. I tome. I don't think we have anything. I, but does Garagak <laughs> yeah, realize? Garagak, I don't think, understands the gravity. Yeah. So this was, this was a question for Coda. Yeah. Did no. Coda knowingly lie? Not a Garagak no. lie, but did you, or did you forget that Zach had an arcane tome? Did, uh, as a player, I didn't even think about the fact that Zach had an arcane. Okay, cool. Yeah. So knowing that, do you want to restate that in any way at all? Um, well, I sure as shit don't want to be like, hey, man, you want to kill my boy? <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, to be fair, I don't think I've told anyone what the tome is other than Ileana. It's pretty apparent. And you did shout at us, don't fucking touch it. <laughs> yeah, and I did revive you, so I would have seen it. <laughs> But I also would I even know what it is? Because he's not an arcane. No, no, no. I am asking. I am asking Coda. Yeah, no, not I'm saying with Garagak. No, I don't think Garagak would know what it is. Yeah, but I think that Garagak, more than anyone else, honestly, would know that this guy collects fancy books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we do have a new fancy. And book. Tumult just got a very fancy book. True. Oh, to be fair, we all got fancy books though. From the Dragon's right. Keep. You do. So all of you have yeah. fancy books he wants to collect. <laughs> yeah, potentially, yeah. So what I want you to do is roll me a, or roll me a deception check. Okay. Show me a potato salad. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, not you know, that checks salad. out. Yeah, not a good life. <laughs> he kind of looks at you. Man. If y'all were trying to throw off somebody searching, you should have sent a liar. Yeah, I'm a truther. Yeah, that's what we love about you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You want to tell me what y'all found that I might be so interested in? Or I got this. And I'll pull up my little tape and be like, here, you want to try it? What the <laughs> fuck is that? Yeah, that's what I said. Y- you put it on your head and someone speaks to you. Like a sending stone, or I, pff, not a clue. You push this little button; it's got one button. Just go boop. And it's just <laughs> someone talks in your ears. Kind of looks down at you, Ilya, as you're like approaching its <laughs> last distance. What is that? What the those the the gag hack has that? Yeah, it's a book. That's not a book. It, Huh? No, that's yeah. a book. Is this a book? Yeah, that's a it book. It doesn't have pages. No. Uh, oh. oh. Well, I, no, but but it's a book. It's it, it's like it's like a talking book. Uh. Yeah. Do you want this? You know, I think I'm okay. Okay. Is that all you found that I'm interested That's all I got. In? I got, oh, I got this. I'll put a hat on, and I'll go, boop, and I'll grab a frog. I'm like, I got this. <laughs> the hard part about this, Coda, <laughs> is I don't know. Oh, my God. How <coughs> Grim would read you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Gary, I can tell the truth. This is something that Gary would be like, well, maybe right, you're yeah, interested in it. Right. This is cool to Hundo shit. percent. <laughs> Hundo percent. <laughs> but I'm not lying to him in any way. I know, I know, I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm trying to kill us with Grim. Yeah. All right. To be we fair, no it's just you. you. Okay, yeah, we're not friends. <laughs> Is it- <laughs> 
four back. Double rogues. I would roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kill Zycor. I'd bring Vorzir back. <laughs> we can make that happen. Uh... It's okay. He gets another debt. Fucking Dandelion does. He turns and looks at you. Uh, Iliana. Uh, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? No. Well, I mean, maybe? It depends on what we're talking about. Um, I do have, and like, I looked down and like, I'll blush and I'll pull out the note that I was working on. Um, I was going to send this <laughs> later today. I just... <laughs> I, I I wanted to make sure that I had you know, like the resources to help my friends. But here, and I like I'll I'll like hand the note to Grim. Uh, a mage hand appears and grabs it, takes it and kind of pulls it up and he reads it. What does it say? It's just a uh, hey. I hope you're okay. We just got back from the Feywild. <laughs> um, I'm writing because something happened. Uh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about you. Um, some god dude, like, read my mind or something, and, uh, I, I don't know what happened exactly, but they made it sound really ominous. Um, yeah, I just thought you should know, maybe, like, defend yourself or something, I don't know, the dude doesn't seem that bad, he gave us some powers. Anyway, love you, hope to see you soon, bye. Ellie, you're so precious. Love you? <laughs> It was still the rough draft. They hadn't had time to overthink that phrase 16 million times. There's a lot to unpack here, darling. Why don't we start with the one that's most prominent in my mind currently? And uh, Who was ominous about knowing me? Hmm. Oh, uh, what was his name? Uh... Kane, I think. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Kane, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his name is Kane. Yeah. You know, that's like about a walking stick. Yeah, he was a uh, he was a monk, it seemed, and he had a bunch of power, and he gave me uh he gave me power, and he gave uh, somebody else some power too, and yeah. We made like a deal with them, and we're gonna stop Zoxies. I'm mad about how much it sounds like both of you are lying, but you are in fact telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was being real vague here, and I'm gonna need that to stop. Pretty quick. Oh, I can show you. You can show me. Yeah. I'll just be like, boom. <laughs> I'll just wide aura. Or like point and smile, and I'll try to do it too. I haven't done it uh, yet. You, you do, and it is a pure, like bright white aura that it, like explodes around you. Um, look like, at like this. Boy, job. Do we see giant kind of glowing guys. lights off in the distance? They're pretty far away. Okay. And it is if like it's noon, maybe, because I'm double bright. That's yeah, true. <laughs> Uh, Coda, roll a d12. <laughs> okay. You crit, it's new. Ten. <laughs> Ooh, it's 10 in the morning. Pretty bright. Oh. So you're a little brighter, but not new. Fair. Uh, looks, you go, well, aren't you just two fancy little demigods? Yeah. You know, I've been learning some new tricks, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, you want to see? Yeah, let's see it. He <laughs> smiles first time. And you see his teeth very much so are like the old school horror movie, like filed into points, but it seems <sighs> natural. Hmm. Like clearly this is just how his teeth grew in, but they all come down to like fang like points. Yeah. Have they relayed um, anything of this conversation to the rest of us through the telepathic bond? Nope. No, I haven't. At least got, like, it's been explicitly said to me. Change intelligent, the dancing circus performer over here. Yep. Uh, he looks, and you see this new book floats out and in front of him. 
opens, and this this tome is thick, like fucking thick. <laughs> the only one you've seen thicker than this one is the one currently floating with Tom. I got this as a a gift, we'll say. Y'all knew my plan about it, actually. This oh. was the one that was encapsulated in ice. Yeah, I got this as a gift, too. Friend gave it to me. Oh, nice. Yeah. I had to uh, kill the guy that gave it to me. He wasn't exactly a friend. No. Oh. Yeah. My friend died, but I, I didn't kill him. Just, oh. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. No, oh, thank you. He's a good guy? Yeah, he's a real nice guy. Good. Well, sometimes nice and good aren't the same thing. Yeah, his, his name was Terrence. Terrence? <laughs> yeah. Terrence. Were you a big lion fellow by any chance? Yeah, yeah, he's huge. Yeah. That's a heck of a friend you had. Yeah, he was a nice guy. And he died? Yeah. Giving me his power, unfortunately. Well, no shit. Yeah. Huh. You know, things have been a little bit weird recently. Last week, odd uh, power has been shifting all over the place. Mm hmm. Yeah, we kind of dropped the ball on that one, I think. We're working on it, though. Fair enough. Well, say, where's the rest of your team hanging out? I just oh, yeah. my new my new tricks together. They're back at the boat. Well, I don't see the boat. Oh, yeah, hell, I'm about 800 feet away from the boat, I think. I flew out here pretty far to see you. That was very nice. Yeah, they're kind of a... You know, big presence. I, I felt that shit way back there, you know. Figured I'd say. I, I, I have gotten a little beefier since the last time we chatted, so. Yeah. Eliana, why don't you use whatever spell you were going to use to take you and Garagak back so we can say hi to the rest of the gang? How's that sound? You want to come with us? Love to. Um, okay, uh, it's time to go prepared, okay? And okay. I'll tell the public. I'll telepathically communicate with everybody, telling them to uh, get ready to fight. We're about to get ambushed. Yeah, you might want to fight who? Tell, uh, tell somebody to put fight in like, a fucking book. <laughs> who are we fighting? Uh, Can you give any more information? It's Grim. He's got another book. We're it's not fighting. Sick. I'm leaving. I'm all run. <laughs> I'm going to Silvery Moon. I'm out get of Get out this of here no, no. now. Tumul, come here. What's a Grim? Come here. Uh huh. Really bad news. Tumble, oh, I told you about him. No, the boys here. weren't there. I, what, Argus? <laughs> I open a dimensional door to a pocket dimension. <laughs> there. I will put the book in there. <laughs> I close the door. Interesting. Yeah, what would like do to when it's not on the same plane? Do y'all want me to bring him, or do you want to run? The enemy of my enemy is a friend. This is taking a long time, really. Do you need me to send us over there, or you got this? We get, uh, we're good, we're good. Uh, yeah, if you could, that'd be, that'd be nice. I'm just a little bit tired. We did fight a monk person. Fair enough. Sounds like you've had a heck of a day. Yeah. Well, seeing as how you were willing to take me with you, that's a good sign for our continued friendships. I'm going to be honest with you. I knew where the boat was the whole time. I knew who was on the boat. And I knew to be expecting you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Sorry for the little fib there. But the world's a dangerous place nowadays, you understand? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, I get it. It did make me panic a little bit, but yeah. All right, let's, let's go. And then I'll telepathically communicate with everybody. All right, uh, chill. Let's talk for a second. Uh, he just kind of like smiles, snaps his fingers, and you guys are on the deck of the ship. 
So no. Well, it's seen better days. Yeah. We're still not sure oh, exactly what happened. <laughs> looks over at Rhyme. Well, you're new. And you're fascinating. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen a Yuan tea before? No, not particularly. Not much in passing, but you're you're lovely. You seem no, delightful and powerful. We're uh, under dark fellows usually. Rare to see on the surface. Yeah, I also spent most of my time on a ship, so somewhat limited. More diverse than some places, but also not. You only kind of see the same, like, ten people or so. You know, most diverse place I've ever seen. City of Brass. Yeah, all makes, sorts of people there. Yeah, a good amount of sense. Yeah. From everything I've heard, yeah. lots of ins and outs. Yeah, it's a nice place. Oh, where's the rest of your friends at? Oh, hey there. Long time no see. Tapugas? Tapartos. Tapartos. <laughs> Grime? Mapugas. No, nah, see, it's only funny when I do it, because I know I scared the shit out of you, so I know you know why. No, you scared the living fuck out of me, but it was rude, yeah. and I, I expect to be remembered. I'm I sorry. actually I'm... didn't remember your name. That's okay. why I was asking. You Wrong just there. did it to be petty. I did. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. You know, for the name Grim, you're a pretty funny guy. Thanks. Yeah. Right, you and so you are the one that we've been expecting the uh, the powerful well, yeah, force. Yeah, we can, we can chat when everybody else is here. Where's the other one? Okay. Today? Well, everybody, come on out. How about holding? Oh, they track. they like to spend time in the rooms. That it should be like a moment or two before they appear. Why am I coming out? Anyway, as I do come out, I'm being called by <laughs> the open the door. I'm bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come out just ri- writing um, a piece of parchment like I still don't really care about the talk, and I'm still working on what I'm working on. <laughs> and I'm covered in grease and dirt and smoke, slightly smoking from my hair, from fingertips up to my shoulder, to my armpits, like grease and grime and dirt. What did why, you why am I up that? here? What? Uh, we have an old acquaintance coming to visit. No. Got it it. would appear either we are in a tremendous amount of trouble, or... Did you miss your wild shape or something? Uh-huh. Oh, it was a nook. Uh-huh. So it's the oh, both of us right, who are like, right. you haven't met who yet. is this large snake yep. man? Oh, um, that was a very good joke. No, I think he actually doesn't quite understand. Uh, no, this is how I was born. Um, well, what you call you auntie. I'll have to look that up later. Okay. I mean, I've seen people mess with their wild shapes and, you know, oh, seen some weird things, so... Wizards do some crazy shit. In <laughs> fairies. Fairies do some weird shit. Oh, that's true. I actually, your friends were telling me y'all just got back from the Feywild. How was yep. that? Oh, oh, it was awful. Oh my god. It well, was he a was trip home in jail. Um, the rest of us were in. Well, it's not polite way to say this in each other, so to speak. And it was a it was a yeah, weird like holiday. It was. It was delightful. Uh, not not that. No no no. Not that kind. No. Ab- oh wow. What do you mean? wow wow wow. Now you're going to uh-huh. deny it? I was inside your body. Oh my god. I just like beat red. Like my skin is kind of like pallid gray most of the time. Like crimson. <laughs> um, it was a jealous. delightful time. Not that way! Uh, I have many questions, but I think they can wait till later. Will we <laughs> mind swap? Yeah, it's a space shit, you know? Oh... It, oh. it was not the sex thing. I have yeah. way less questions. Well, it could have been. But... <laughs> no, <You> didn't <laughs> see... Thank goodness you didn't see what I did. Yeah. yeah I have no clue what I did with your body. Is that what that is? Hmm. <laughs> what did you do with me? Not with you. I healed you? a tree. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I healed a tree. I broke oh, a tree yeah. and then I healed a tree. Pretty up oh. what you would do. Yeah. Were you <laughs> looking for us, large heart snake man? You for one, and uh, yes, 
but no. Now, very plainly, many of you know what I'm about. Yes. Yep. Avid uh, burgeoning librarian, it seems. Yeah. You're not very familiar with the Arcanus Magnate, are you? Not at all, no. Uh, I see these are the Folio Arcane. They represent the power and the spells that an Arcanist Magnate can cast. Generally, you're only supposed to have one. Well, you have several. Several more than the last time we met. Just one it's more. Not one more. It's just really oh. thick. It's big. You know, there's just there's something that's eluded me for a long time. Kind of the final piece of a puzzle. For some reason, I figured y'all would know something about it, seeing how you were so closely connected to not one, but two of the High Arbiters, the Arcanus Magnate. Although the one that was most connected seems to be uh, no longer here, hopefully not dead. No, no. No idea. They're alive somewhere, I think. They went through a bad breakup and kind of left. We ain't heard from them in a long time. No, well, they left they, at, with, the, with a sibling? Lysander, one of the ones that was with us last, that is no longer here, has left us to the... Oh, yeah, the to... garbage captain. Yes. Yeah. They left. Yeah. Olan, the Arcanist Magnate, left with them. We have not been able to Section track them down. Check find them. my dude. That was all true. That's the truth. Yeah. Our Olan, you all know, for a fact, did not leave with Lysander. No. I, no, I will argue this is semantics, together. however, fine. <laughs> this, is, this is important fact. wording. I also didn't say This 20. is not, not yeah, it's just from Departos. Oh, just okay. from Departos, yeah. the deception. Because Lysander and Olan are together, one of whom he has met, one of whom he has not. Olan went off alone. Mm hmm. That we saw because okay. after Lysander that was gone, is, he was alone a, crying a very, in his room. You bitched at him, and then he went through a portal. No one's seen him since. That is a very important distinction. All right, a pretty good yeah, deception. You, I will say, you I, will twenty deception. Would you like to word that differently to get your point across? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lysander defected from us in our cause. Olan was romantically involved with Lysander. I see. And after Lysander left and Olan found out, Olan chose them over us, and we haven't seen either of them since. We've tried to contact them, and we haven't been able to. If you're looking for that, for the High Arbiter, he is not with us. No, no, that's just... Uh... A means to an end. Olan. Well, that name sounds familiar. Grim didn't know that name before. Uh, hey, Grim, how much do you know about devils and demons? Not a lot. Why? Uh, Seriously? That seems important. I know that I kill them if they come after me, and I don't if they don't. It's fair. Well, working on a contract. Not my wheelhouse, friend. Yeah, yeah, that's why I asked. But but then you asked what for, so I figured I'd tell you. Just, I appreciate you being open yeah. and honest. Now, I hope yeah. we can continue that trend as we move forward here. There's a specific folio arcanum that I'm looking for that <clears throat> will complete my collection of uh, noticeable prizes, notable prizes. The first polio arcanum, in fact. The only one said to keep the spells and knowledge inside of it from when it's transferred from one arcanus magnate to another. Y'all wouldn't know anything about that, would you? 
don't. You want to keep keep spells? Unless this is it. And I'll hold up my little audio tape book. <laughs> Do we you all want did me just give... make that a book for you? I have no <laughs> idea. Uh, I found it. He can't read? He can't read. Hey. Do you want me to teach you how to read real quick? <laughs> Can you do that? That would be really cool. I could, yeah. Do you say something you want? Yeah, it couldn't hurt, I yes. suppose. Do we well, want that? Do I need to read? Well, honestly, if I that's mean, something was... like fast he can do for you, that's a really, really valuable skill getter, Gek. Also, yeah. no, it's a fact that you don't have to, but it could be something beneficial for your life if that's something you want to do with your time. Oh. And if you want, like, a house or other things later in life, you might need to read some paperwork. Oh, I just Sorry. find a cave. That's pretty simple. Yeah. Better, Gak, I will get you a house, I promise, okay? No, I've always lived in a cave. Cave is a house. I will make you a nice cave. We okay. have to live through this before we can start promising houses. I don't see oh. why we wouldn't live through this. Yeah. We have held up our Grimm's end of the bargain like with Grim. I'm not, not talking, talking about, about this. I don't know what one. you're talking about with him, oh, okay. but this... Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, oftentimes when you on. save the world, the savers don't live. Yeah. Fair. Well, we're kind of trying to take out literal gods and stuff. You know? Well, that's impressive. Yeah. Any specific you might want to help? Radar. Oh, oh you the know, traveler. The traveler. <laughs> oh, Xerxes in general. Good old, good old Dandy the Mandy himself. Yeah. Yes. We kind much. of got ourselves into this mess, and now we're trying to get. Do you know his non god given name? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Dan, I'm pretty sure Dandelion's the one that hired him to go sit at the Ice Giant Fortress. Oh. Not quite. Oh. Huh. They did that themselves. Oh. They're... Frost Giants are not something to be trifled with because, as much as their brethren may not look it, they are intelligent. I'm not hmm. doubting their intelligence. I'm just surprised that they would go outside for help. I came to them. They made an agreement with me. Oh, for the book? Correct. Oh, he's got it now. All right. Why did the I've giants been... have a big book? Uh, the person that had it before me was frozen oh. well underneath the ocean. Yeah, that would do it. And because there's so much magic emanating off of him... They were able to build their underwater fortress hullabaloo down there. and That is specifically why we did not go for the artifact with the frost giants. Because they knew I would kill the shit out of them. Exactly. Very much so. Now, I'm not in the business of god hunting myself. Seems Think like you might want to help get it. involved? <laughs> yeah, that'd like be pretty cool. Pretty you fucking good at it. Yeah. If you are going after the Traveler, you may want to know something that came up recently. Yes, please. Hmm. Uh, for whatever reason, he just shot up the scale a lot. Oh yeah, he's the most powerful deity on this plane of existence. <sighs> We're aware. Yeah. He's the most powerful deity on any plane, any plane of existence. existence. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we know. Yeah. Now, I'm not the best thinking man in the world. <laughs> but the way y'all said that makes me think you had something to do with it. No, we're just going to do something about it. Uh, yeah, not really sure. To be honest. Also, you <laughs> dealt with these people before. You know if they did have something to do with it. It was not on purpose. Uh, <laughs> that I can fully believe. <laughs> Backtrack. But, I know we've talked about it. How did we fuck this up this bad? I forget. Oh, Coda did it. From, deck. Uh, oh, the, the deck. deck. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Coda did it in the weird fate part of the temple. Yep. That's right. Hit, hit the sun card out of the tune deck. Hit a nat 20. Dandy. Oh, yeah, that wasn't even oh. in the temple. That was just y'all being like, let's pull that more cards. A, that afterwards. was from the fate deck. That wasn't even from the tune deck. No, that was from tune deck. It wasn't from fate. Yeah, that was I put the sun. Nah, because uh, I was like, "Does it destroy him? Because he got hit with double okay. chaos?" Or oh, does it I remember him now. Up? I yeah. yeah, I don't know how else we could fuck things up this bad, but we did. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Y'all are playing in a game that I don't want any part of. To be honest, 
there's not a lot of benefit to me to be had in that regard. I know it's selfish. I know fate of the world, blah, blah, blah. But I but think that what I if can it keep could? myself alive. What, what if it did benefit you? Well, you said that, you know, we have a lot of connections with the high arbiters of Silvery Moon. And Silvery Moon's helping us do this. What if we ask them for what you're looking for? Then you, you get it. You kill the most powerful god on the planet. Yeah. So you'll ask yes. the question. Uh, well, I mean, I will, like, get it for you. If we have the potential to get the book you want, especially if it's the fate of existence versus this book. Yeah, then you don't have to kill anyone again if they hand it over willingly, right? Not exactly. This one works differently than the rest. Hmm. This one isn't tied to a person's energy like the others are. This one consumes. <clears throat> There's a reason that none of the previous wielders of it could ever talk about how its power was used. To be honest, it's kind of like a small price to pay regardless. Eternal damnation? Uh, no, I mean, like, giving you the book versus killing him. Like, killing Dandelion. Well, that's not the problem. Whoever uses that book, should they die, <clears throat> they're immediately imprisoned inside of its pages. Huh. All their knowledge transcribed. Technically, wouldn't that have happened already? Well, not quite. Okay, because he death was gets, dead, but he was resurrected. Finicky. Like again right. and again, right? If it had gone past that minute mark where everything shifts to a more permanent state, then yes. Can I tell if he is lying through his spiky snake teeth? He's probably you real hard to read. Check for but... sure. I'll roll as well. Oh, 17. That was a bad roll. Uh... There you go. Anybody else want to want to get in on this? See if sure. Oh yeah, I, I don't trust 20. this guy. <laughs> Show me uh, twelve, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not much better. Thirteen. Uh -huh. Fair. Wow. You sticking with that twelve? Um. Do I have advantage or something? <laughs> He's just trying well, to get us to burn inspiration. I unfortunately don't have any left. <laughs> so that's up to I got the one, team. but I'm not wasting it here. I was, I'm just curious if this would be worth it to y'all. I don't care if you burn them now or later or what have you. I think that's but... pretty much up to Dash. They have by far the most. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. <clears throat> I trust the, the 25 and the 21. I shouldn't, but also uh, I would rather save it for a life and death situation. That's fair. Yeah. This isn't one of those. Um, I mean, yet. We could fuck this up and it can be. <laughs> uh, Argus and Ileana both, like, he's telling the truth. Like, he's, be he's being sincere. Through oh. the telepathic bond. I don't oh. think he's lying. It's a terrifying, okay. terrifying tome. Why do they keep using it so, if it consumes the users? Yeah. Because it gives... I guess you get generations of power. of power then, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. The amount of knowledge and spells that are in that book, there are spells in there no one has ever seen, and we're talking hundreds of them. Completely unique spells made to the caster that held the tone. Hmm. That's pretty cool. If somebody spent time with it, and there's no telling how powerful they would be. 
And more than anything, that's what I want. Not the power of it, but the knowledge of it. These books give pathways to infinite knowledge. They would allow me to learn the spells of pretty much any type of a caster out there and make my own of all of the affinities of all the people that held these. That's why I collect them. All right, the OP. You look perturbed there, big man. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, the bigger no, man. Probably oh. me. Oh, hey. Yeah. Perp. I'm used to, I, I got used in, to being you. So. In his mind, Garagak is the biggest one here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though he is like literally to half of Tapartus' size. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me, stands over. <laughs> yeah, I'll just fly up so I'm slightly taller. To part to us. Oh, hey, sorry. Yeah. The second, second big guy, second biggest guy. Oh, uh, yes, yeah. yes. Sorry as... about that. No, no offense, Matt. Oh no, it's. I didn't. It's I fine. didn't. I didn't have the the full full scale of the weight and power that you carry. It's because he was situation. slouching. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, my apologies. Thousand dollars. Uh, no. Uh, I'm just going through a bit of it. Forgive me for having a bit of a sour taste in my mouth from our last meeting. Um, oh, I don't blame shit. you. Dad. Yeah. Hey, Tapartos, have you called Boo? Yes. Oh, that's why. Never yeah. mind. Um, oh, he's a, he has girlfriend problems. I'm having oh, problem sorry. problems. Those Point is, bummer. I I just want you to know, I still <clears throat> I disagree with your methods, but I understand your desires. I do not blame you for wanting knowledge, for knowledge is power. Are you also planning to distribute your power equally amongst all other beings in this world, or are you just oh, keeping it for dear yourself? Dear God, no, this is for me. Fair. But honestly, he's odd, the only like multi day coincidence. Guy we've found that doesn't want a mass genocide. As far as I'm concerned, he's pretty cool. Like, he's trying to kill a at few least people. killed at least six. That's just it. we we killed like twelve yesterday. No, but we like killed a, a lot of people. A specific group of people. The thing you just shouted about nary hours ago that is in fact genocide. Yes, yes, I understand. But no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm so just looks at Grim. I'm playing on... semantics with the big man. I'm not saying. Oh, everybody loves playing the... fucking semantics with the second biggest man. Uh, <sighs> I'm still caught up on the air quotes bad guy. I know I issued a threat, but you know, you were trying to kill the people we kind of cared about and were our friends. Like you, what? as far as you were concerned, what? you were a bad guy to us. Did you did kill the High King? Kill? What? Did you kill the High King? Because we got news that the High King was dead, and you threatened to kill somebody and did something, and then nothing oh, happened was, to us. That was just a fucking play, <laughs> bud. Was so it was you. You think I can just snap my fingers and make somebody die? <laughs> yes. You made us think you could. Well, yeah, it's called a fucking power play. Oh, and then it was coincidentally timed with when the High King died, though. Yeah, he was fucking assassinated. Oh. By you? Huh? No, not by... No, I see what you're trying to do, <laughs> but that's not what happened. Yeah. Who got into his you, weird fancy castle? The same organization y'all are trying to take out because he had a massive six, fucking army it. against them. Yeah, that makes sense. We did. We did. Man, that. fuck those that that guys. <laughs> Why do you think I wasn't specific? With y'all's line of work, somebody important was gonna fucking die. <laughs> you know. So I figured if I made the, if I made the claim, and somebody <laughs> happened to bite it. it you know. Touche. Yeah. No, you're right. You got us. Touche. I also love that we are all believing this at face value. <laughs> you can roll inside again if you want. Like, that's fine. We've I just been like, you I know what? This to. is a weird enough twist that, yeah, probably he was bullshitting it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to roll it. I just love that this is the one I'm not rolling it because personally, like, I don't see a reason for him to currently lie to us. He could most likely single-handedly fuck us up. 
<laughs> Argus and Gary back to the decided to roll. Both of the 21. You both know that he is telling the truth. <laughs> you get a hint. Uh, just a hint of like he had to make a power play because he wasn't sure that he could stop you. Hmm. Hmm. No, he's got a big old thick book. That's a good idea. Uh, he seems you know much go. less afraid now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you know what, he gained a You're going to go to the bathroom time. today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, man! Uh, I was worried about that. I've been having some, some stuck-up issues, y'all. That's been all clenched. But uh, you know, I appreciate you. Helped you out. We have some fruit. Oh, you don't got shit right literally now. Literally going nowhere. No. We have some right. fruit jam. Technically, it's also covered it's in all sweaters. over the downstairs Double. and has a lot of meat and stuff. I agree with you. Like, the conversation is going nowhere. Yes. I'm sure Ileana wants to hang out with you, but I got to go finish writing these contracts for, you know, devils and demon things. You know, it does strike me, though. If that book were to somehow fall into your party's hands, there's only two people that might have gone to. Is it? Am I one? No, sorry, buddy. You can't read. Oh. Are you going to get? The- <laughs> <laughs> See, that's no. a good. That's a good reason to learn how to read, so you can read a big fancy book. But just oh, read, yeah. reach up like they're there. Well. One of those two people, I don't think, can lie to me even if she tried. <laughs> She's in love with you. Sorry. I got that from this note. Oh, no. She already tossed the L word out there like it was. Uh, the, oh, oh, the part those knows. It's more just like speaking on behalf of somebody else when I already find these situations very awkward and uncomfortable. Have you told yours yet? Have you said the L word to her yet? I, I, I shit the bed with the L word. Yes. Oh, and then the boys let me know he did say it and then immediately took it back. Immediately. Uh, like within it, moments. It wasn't they were like, take it back. It, 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 it was mostly like, I, I, I love you. And then just I got to go. I, I get it. It was. I'm sorry. Continue. And that leaves you, my friend. You. You. You? Yeah, you. You who? You know goddamn well who I'm talking about. <laughs> and the fact that you're circling me makes me think that you don't, uh, you may know more information oh. than on. So, I'm going to toss this out there. It's going to be pretty telling either way. I would like to cast a simple spell on you. Spell you probably know well. Sort of compels the person inside of it and affects to uh, where they cannot tell a lie. I'm going to cast that spell and you're going to let it work on you. Or you're going to go to jail. (laughs) Don't. I will know for a fact that you're lying to me because there would be no other reason for you to not let the spell go through. Makes sense? No. Cast some truth on you. Hail. Now that that's been done, I would like to make one other thing abundantly clear. This spell, as we all know, does not compel you to answer a question, nor does it mean that you cannot circle around the answers to the questions. So I'm going to ask you a series of yes or no questions. You're going to answer me very specifically. Yes or no. Tumble. Are you in possession? Maybe not on your person. 
Maybe not around you. You know what? Nah, fuck that. Are you currently connected to the first Folio Arcanum? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. Did you know any of what I told you about that book when you made that connection? Yes. Do you know the part where it's going to eat your soul? No. You did say any. That was a pretty broad question. Yeah. You were completely right. That's on me. That's on me. You understand the repercussions of your choice better now than when you took it. I don't see how that's a repercussion. A sacrifice to be made for the greater good should it come to it. Pretty much. And then everything I've learned in my life can be passed on to someone else. It sounds pretty dope. Pretty worthwhile for a scholar. Literally all the, someone just gets my knowledge like that. That's way easier than trying to transcribe it myself. <clears throat> I can't fault you for wanting what you want. I can fault all of you. <clears throat> Except for maybe the the real big guy over there. Uh, I don't think I did anything. For circling around the truth. What do you mean? Can you fault us for it? Yeah, I can. I mean, I literally offered to give it to you when we're done with it. Right. That was your play. Yeah. Yeah, that was your tell. And I know that you weren't trying to be direct. You wanted me to take my time. You wanted to give it to me once you're done with your higher purpose. That's what anybody would want, right? I mean, with the more you talked about it, you know, it was kind of like all powerful. It kind of seems like it would help kill, you know, the most powerful god currently. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So the thing that I'm upset about <laughs> is that the only reason y'all tried to lie to me was because you felt that. If I knew, I would try to take it. Uh, to be fair, only two of us know exactly what it was until just now. I did not tell a single person here other than the one that won't lie to you. And you never asked them. I didn't know it was specific, but I figured it was important. But at the same time, yeah, no one. Honestly, no one knew. Based on was. our previous interaction, why <clears throat> wouldn't we think that you would just take it? Everything we know about you is that you're dangerous, that you're not afraid to kill, and that you explicitly threatened us. Yeah, and what questions did you ask? When have you ever tried to actually get to know? The parts of us were not afraid to kill. Is that? No, I know we're not afraid to kill, but we never explicitly if I wanted, threatened. If I wanted any of you dead. Or if I was anybody else, one of the many powerful beings coming after your sorry asses right now. 1v1, I'm smoking Garagak. Hmm. I'll make him take the longest nap of his life. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, I take naps. Can't get out of though. I knew Ileana was hiding in the trees. I knew the play. And I was peaceful. I came here. I started off, we had a full conversation. I was not aggressive. I was not hostile. I was asking questions. And we answered the questions that were asked. It really pisses me off. That y'all walk around constantly making judgments. Whoa. I don't think I've judged anybody. It was just being described to me. Y'all had somebody come up and had that, had that encounter yesterday go or earlier today. Literally like an hour ago. 
I think more than anything, it comes out of fear than like judgment when you're kind of trying to fix things. People kind of jump out of the trees and try to kill you all the time. Yes. A lot of they people have resistant. come out, jumped out at us, tried to kill us, threatened to kill us, which you have done. You are not very specific innocent trying in to this. interfere with what I was tasked to do. Right. I had given my word to those giants that I would not let their operation be interfered with. Is there wrong in being a man of my word? No. Oh. We held up our end of the bargain on the word. And However, you I have do given us to you? No. You gave us your ultimatum and gave us what you said you wanted, what you needed, and explicitly stated what you would do to get it. Now, our friend here is an obstacle in that way. Why would we not be defensive? Who said I was an obstacle? You are not Why are an you obstacle. Why so he has to kill me? No, I'm not saying anybody has to kill you. I'm saying I desire to protect he has to you. Kill me. Dumbled, I want to protect you. Shut the fuck up. Also, to be fair, until a few seconds ago, we thought you killed one of our friends, you know, because you did the snap finger thing. We did. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, that, that's a good justification to be afraid, for sure. For sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's kind of literally why I offered the book. <laughs> Once you kind of, like, came clean about that, I was like, you know, we kind of... You've been pretty truthful. But yeah, okay. it made threats empty or no, bluff or no. We came through true... Yes, the whole lot's terrified of you, which honestly is yeah. a pretty powerful thing in itself. A lot of people kind of get a rush from that or whatever. He seems more interested in knowledge in general than like power for terror's sake. But I, I understand why the lot is kind of freaked out by you. Yes, so I am well, sorry I'm, about power plays. I'm sorry about lies. I'm sorry fear. about deceit. I don't blame you for fear. Well, how fucked up is it that everybody's first response to fear is to destroy the thing they're afraid of? That wasn't mine. I mean, I we literally tried to destroy you. To you? Yeah, they were trying to destroy me. Oh, and I mean, the thing yesterday you talked state. about, uh, that guy attacked us first. Well, no, technically, no, he did not. Him first. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. My bad. Yes. He threatened us. <laughs> I forgot you to fucking be fair, elders like, blasted The last ass. like five <laughs> fights, we did attack first. The fight? From this morning, he did not answer my question on whether or not the blood he was currently cleaning off of his body was from our friends that were on our burning boat that we found him on. He didn't hmm. know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I know about y'all <laughs> is that you have good intentions. Debatable. Trying to save the world, no matter what that looks like, is a good intention. Save, change who's taking it over. Same thing. <laughs> He's usurping the world now. Huh? We, like, usurping control of the world now? <laughs> well, I mean, he has control, and we're gonna go kill him. Or at least try to kill him. Hmm. He doesn't have control of shit. He's still a pawn. He'll always be a pawn. Dandy? That seems important. Do you know to who? <laughs> Do I know to who? Because you said you yeah. go way back with the man, right? Yeah. I knew him before he was what he is. Before he traveled. Correct. Oh. You look mighty good for your age. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> shit. I like how Ryan wants to bang the snake, man. I just surface level find people attractive and compliment them <laughs> I imagine Illy is just standing there seething at me this entire time no, no she's not seething she's smiling she, she don't care <laughs> she knows she's nodding she's she like care. Yeah, he is well, now that you have this information is uh, my life currently at stake I think it is I want to say no but if I wanted to take the book, I would have taken it as soon as I knew that you had it. However, I know this is not a threat. It is an explanation. Yeah. Me taking the book would require me to kill 
all of you in the process. Oh, because we stand up and defend our friend? No, that's not it. I mean, that's that would be a hindrance for sure. Y'all oh, because it would pass to the rest of us? No, you heard when it, I'm not... I'm strong. I'm not all-powerful or omniscient. Hmm. That's fair. You hit it. I don't know where. And I'm going to assume that none of you would have willingly told me. Be fair, I so, don't know where. <laughs> yeah, I gather you, nor Ileana knows exactly where it's tucked away at. Probably most of you, because Tumult's a smart guy, and he would have kept it as minimal, minimally known as possible. No idea. Although that does lead to certain points that the only two people that weren't out here directly to converse with me when I arrived were you and I'm sorry, what's your name? New friend? Oh, I'm Argus. Argus. That's a strong name. It's a good name. So, logically, Argus has it tucked away somewhere or helps tuck it away somewhere. But that's not why I'm here. I came to make sure you knew what you were getting into. Uh, unfortunately, we do. Do we? Well, it's about mean, the book part. We know. We know the generalization. We know. I have no idea. Going to destroy Xerxes because they want to oppose some unobtainable well hopefully unobtainable law of order and i just personally want to balance the world specifically just him i mean i want to kill him too but i also want to do in the rest of xerxes so that there's balance i like chaos and i don't want it going away i like i I don't want it going away but but you also have to have order to balance out the chaos. So some of them have to still be there. No. No, they don't. Because there will be somebody else to bring order, but not that brand of ultimatum order. Exactly. So if someone else took it over... You want to take over Xerxes? It's already an element, like an infinite deity of order that is doing that exact thing. Which one? I'm assuming it's the equivalent exchange of the chaos god that we've met in the chaos realm. Yeah, but that exactly. one's gone. As far as right. we know. <laughs> yeah, no, but his equivalent correct. other is still here. Right. Xerxes is playing a game that is far above their heads, even with good old fucking Dandy doing his thing at the power he's at. On his head. That's all I care about. I'm not. He's an old friend. I'm not saying you're wrong. Mm. Care if I am in your way. You know, I'm gonna walk up to Grim. And I'm going to bow in front of him and say I'm sorry. Oh, that's unexpected. Can we un superpower the superpower guy and just make him a guy again? Or is he too far gone, like mentally, to <coughs> be a normal guy again? Wait, which one? Dandy. If he was just a guy before he was a god, can't we make him just a guy again? Or is the power trip too much so. for the brain? But as an option, he is just a guy. Or he was. Still is deep down in his core. That's why he's so active in the world. It's his home. I'm not going to get in your way or try to stop you. But I can't help you kill a friend. That's why I was apologizing. <laughs> I've been sitting here blatantly talking about murdering a friend. 
Wait, if you're going to all kill all of Xerxes, are you going to kill your captain? Who said all? I guess. But pretty much all, everybody else besides you said all. I said Dandy. I want his head. We have to see if Lysander is actually part of Xerxes or not. We don't know. That's yeah. fair. I want to talk to him. I'm pissed at him. I don't want to kill him. That's weird coming from you. Also, the only thing I've ever wanted to kill is Dandy. Oh, I thought you were talking about Lysander. I was like, that is very weird. I am pissed at him. <laughs> the don't want to kill him. I don't, the don't part uh, got want cut to out of him. I, yeah, I didn't hear don't. I heard yeah, I don't want to don't kill him. is very like, important there. That is very dark for the part. That, that was <laughs> <laughs> also, we can typically bring them back. <laughs> Mm, well, another thing I came to talk to you about, actually. Because <laughs> whether you think it or not, I came as a friend. Real well, quick on that note. An acquaintance you... and an ally rather than a friend. You came oh. to us specifically. You sought us out. As soon as I felt your presence is back on this plane, yeah. Okay. One, I wanted to make sure Tunnel knew exactly what he got himself into, because if anybody in your party was stupid enough to attach themselves to that book, it was going to be Tumble. Uh, yes. To be fair, it wasn't really a choice. The other part is that magic's getting real fucked up here. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm oh, I'm assuming. Go ahead. With the aspects of the different <laughs> ten or whatever they were that some of us have, that they're floating around. They just haven't been assigned yet. Or if they have been assigned, they've got new hosts, much like ours. Well, especially with the rest of the dragons dying off. And mm -hmm. I gotta figure this out. Their magic's out and about. Anyone else that died from Dandelion just feeling it. We also don't know. I mean, you two got your aspects pointing at Ileana and Tapartas from just a guy. They don't necessarily all come from dragons. He took them from dragons. Well, dead dragons. Didn't you fight a big guy that didn't have them from like DM, DM Alex interjecting here. You absolutely do know there are like aspects of divinity that are out there that do not have to do with the ten. True. Uh, just because the ones you have encountered for the most part have been from the Ten, there are absolutely other sources of those aspects. Tumult yeah. is a very good example of that because his was just a connection with a higher power that became so intermingled it pushed him to that level. However, when we were talking to what's his name? Something The Monk? Um, yeah. Kane. Kane, that's it. Um, when we were talking to Kane last session, it was, was I don't know dragons, if it was yeah. officially directly confirmed, but it was like... Well, uh, well at least two aspects. of his magic yeah. powers were from the dragons of life and death. Yes. He also had like five others. Right. Which are not necessarily many, from but... those, but we know we can infer that the ones that were bequeathed unto Ileana and myself were from the dragon aspects of life and death, correct? Right. Okay. So Didn't you, you know, also just fight a big guy that kept mumbling aspect over and over again? From everything I heard, he wasn't very dragony. No, it was the aspect of no, chaos. Wasn't. I don't really get what he was all about. We kind of hunted him out into space. We didn't do shit. The important note here is Argus, you're on to something. Divinity is getting chucked around willy nilly. The ten all dying simultaneously, the ones that remained, <laughs> tossed that power out into the ether to go to the nearest worthy host. 
all of a sudden that opened up power where things were all of a sudden fighting on a new level that they could go and start fighting things that had their own aspects and win. The layers of magic that are in play here are completely shattering apart. Y'all have to play this smarter. That's not an insult to you. I was just going to say, you've met us, right? <laughs> I. We're just playing with the big dogs now. We've been all along. Find the big dogs. All along, watched, we have thought we've been playing it smart. I've watched resurrection spells fail for the first time in my entire existence. <laughs> I've watched healing magics harm. I have watched harming magics heal. You have to know the arena you're fighting in if you're fighting. You have to pay attention to how the magic is working around you. The only way all this shit gets fixed is if y'all win. Now, if you want, I can go ahead and give up on what I'm working on and come with you. But I'm trying to get all these other fucking aspects in order. Mm. Put them in people that are actually worthwhile for them to have them. That sounds good. It's pretty important. But... I mean, Illy would be sad, but... I'm not going to help you in that final confrontation. Well, yeah, we're not going to make you kill a friend of yours. I'll be there to help however I can. Part of those things that... Go for it. No, no, you're the captain. Go ahead. I was just going to say, it seems as though, especially from what you've done so far, what you seem to know, and the access you have, your value as an informant is going to be of utmost importance. Have we understand. Magics, or how they interact, I can answer those. But there's a lot going on right now that's unprecedented. Uh, if you can just help keep the fabrics of reality as we know it sewn together right now while we try to fix this that's going to help a lot remember who your allies are and don't be afraid to call on them really glad that we can call you one of them when shit hits the fan, you're going to need all the help you can get. Very aware. One small drop in your hat that may be worthy of you knowing. A couple of your friends out there have already uh, gotten a little juiced up themselves. Yeah, do you happen to know where they are? Who? Our friends, uh, little goblin guy. The, the boys. Yeah, the boys. Looking for Phil Soup and Gum Gum, specifically. They were left with this ship. We came back and, uh... Well, I have no idea where they back. are. That's not who I was talking about, though. Oh, oh okay. The, uh... The kids? The half-giant lady. Mook. Yeah. yeah. I just looked at the partos. Didn't you say you talked to them? I, I, I did. She said that she's been given an upgrade and she is currently trying to put the water deep back together as we speak. Oh, you guys are <clears throat> Moog the Justicar. She attained the aspect of justice not long ago. That fits her. 
That was very good. Fitting. Her. Another friend of yours. Bella, oh, he had a stupid fucking name. What was his name? Zephyros. Please, no. <laughs> Not a friend. Not a friend. Uh, no. Uh, Harlan Dino? That's the one. <laughs> he got the aspect of loyalty. Makes sense. I'm going to keep tossing these around as I can to try and get them to people that will be able to help. Because oh, if, you're, if you're calling in the guns, they need to be fighting on the same field y'all are. Oh, yeah. Very much so. So, I'll check in. Well, either you can check in with me. You're a cleric, right? Yes. So is Ellie. Yeah, but... Hi. <laughs> it's a little different. That's like saying that <clears throat> I'm a sorcerer. That shit does not matter for a long time. I use it on occasion. It's fine. Yes, I'm a cleric. <laughs> you got the sending spell? Yes. We're not sure. We check every yes. time. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a long rest. When I, I have just it, pull out I'll set a set it, of sending I'll stones. It, it'll be fine. I, could, I don't trust them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I make no promises to respond to these when you call. I won't I'm call. I give the other one to Illy. You'll only talk to her. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be responsible with it. <laughs> <laughs> you will only use it as uh, warranted. One use of the sending spell per day. <laughs> W-Y-D. I need a list. <laughs> give me a list. A priority <laughs> list of people that need to get Juiced, and I'll get as many of them done as I can. Even if Although we don't know where they are. Even if you don't know where they are. Okay. Gum, soup, pill. Get a <laughs> solidified list together. <laughs> Boy, look at me with my manpower. We have document. Player-wise, get me your yes. benevolent dungeon master. A quite literally numbered and ordered priority list of who should get aspects. And I will be using that based off dice rolls that I have and based off the times that you guys spent doing things to go through that list. How many names in total? However many you want to come up with as long as but put them in a priority order. We can do that. Grim does look. He kind of like <laughs> looks around the group and he's surrounded. <laughs> And looks at you, Ryan. Hello. How did you get absorbed in all this? Uh, I was in a cabinet in our new lair. So Aspect of destruction attacked Waterdeep. We killed it, and then we went and stole their treasure, and they were a part of it. Found them locked in a cabinet. They were about to be dissected and taxidermied. Yeah, she had, like, a whole room full of these beasties that were all, like, pinned up and sitting there, and I was in a locker, ready to be next, I guess, but they killed her, so I'm glad they decided to go hunting in her dragon lair, otherwise I would have just lived in a closet. I kind of, like, actually happened to be searching for all of them, because there's just stories of the chosen ones, and I wanted to see if they were evil, and turns out, not really. At least not for the most part. Do you want to be here? I mean, I'm on board for saving the world. Well, then you're first name on my list. All right. I mean, I am traveling around with a bunch of demigods now. It feels a little flimsy to be just some dude. I have Good knives, stuff. but... Never refer to yourself as just some dude again. You're probably the most quick-witted person in this group, and you deserve mm. more credit than they give you for everything you do. Not any of us discredited. No. Rhyme discredits themselves. I just Nobody stab things. 
Nobody said you discredit Ryan. There is never enough credit given to anybody. That's all I'm saying. Well, Grim, <clears throat> big uh, second question. Uh, when this is all done, can I use a spell on you? Depends on the spell, friend. Memory sharing. Absolutely not, no. Why not? Because nobody else needs to go through what I've gone through. Well, it's mainly for you to know, to, to know what our side. I trust you. Y'all are supposed to be the good guys, remember? Yeah. I'm choosing to have faith in that. Yeah. No, you're not getting in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be careful. Remember what I said. I'll be out there doing what I can. But ultimately, this is all in y'all's hands. We've been getting a lot of that. <clears throat> it's what happens when you're ones. the chosen ones, yeah. Stories are written about you all. We love... Right. Can you come up with a better name? I can try, but at this point... If it's made it to the ships and the sea yards, the name's not going to rebrand too well. It'll rebrand fine when we go kill a god. Mm, they might still just call you the Chosen Ones, but I barely know what you all look like, so if you don't go touting it, maybe people won't know. This sounds horrible. They all are kind of glowing now, for the most part, so... At least I hide mine. Thank you, Lord Snakeman, for doing your part to help our cause. It's large savior. He's like five nine. Like he is just an average <laughs> size. Snake He's just dude. a dude. I always uh, pictured him as a fucking huge guy. I think no, it's just because he, he has a huge presence. Yeah, He's still he technically a, taller than I am. Yeah. Is it okay if I? He's large by snake now. standards. Yeah. Do what you got to do, my friend. Uh, I'm going to heading while the heading's good. I go kind of sulking back to my room. I wanted to figure out how he stole people's powers. Motherfucker, stupid shit, bitch ass. <laughs> I got this real good here. <laughs> and everybody else goes off, tries to become gods, ruin the world order, everything like that. What else did you think I wanted your memories for? I asked you the last question I'm, at the same time I met you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to yeah, retire. Yeah. Oh, there's no retiring. Oh, I'm gonna retire. We get to be heroes forever until we die or uh, die. No, I'm doing my thing. Better. You're the hero until you live long enough to become the next villain. <laughs> yes. Oh. And it seems as though I'm going to watch a lot of the people I care about become the villains, but I'm going to do the thing that I want to do. I don't know. Sander beat me to it. Shit. I'm done. That's well, it. Just, <laughs> I don't know a lot about you. <laughs> But I know you're the type of guy that wouldn't let somebody in distress go unaided. Yeah. I'm you're sorry I missed that. What? For the rest of your life. Yeah, I believe it. To be but, you know, currently, Lysander's not here. I don't trust him. But look fair. forward to being a little hero again. I don't think you're going to be a little anything. Oh, I can, I can squat. Garagak. Yeah. You trust me? Yeah. You see Mara. <laughs> Just let this happen then. <laughs> oh, okay. Give Coda so more shit. <laughs> the books rotate and like spin around him and it stops at one, pops open. Do me a favor. He flips it towards you. Go ahead and tell me what it says on that page. And as you like get close and start squinting at it, <laughs> yeah. it smacks it into your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, this oh. whole time we learned 
Garagak just needed glasses. He couldn't actually see the words. <laughs> now try again. He holds it back up, and you can see written clearly. Fuck. And understand words in common that says, Grats, dog, you can read now. <laughs> D-A-W-G. Well, oh, I know what these words. I'm gonna, like, run to everybody and try to, like, open up their books to see if I can read them, too. <laughs> you can. Nice. The only copy I have on me is uh, when the bad guys realize you're the party healer. The, uh, you can read your provision in your literate in <laughs> every language you know. So Orcish, Common, etc. Infernal. Yep. <laughs> Whatever fucking reason. <laughs> Just threw a dart I, at a board when you never yeah, made specifically it I remember because I told you to look through the language charts and you're like, what's infernal? I was like, that's the devil's. He's like, oh yeah, that sounds cool. Let's go that one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I was doing when I was making this character. <laughs> that's all right. Campaign two, you're gonna be so so much more ready. Yeah. Wait, right, uh, I have to deal with a ready Garrick act or Koda when he's <laughs> yeah, ready dog. to play. Yeah, dog. Well, to be fair, all of us are gonna have some learning to do because that system is different because yes. space and shit. Uh, it's just but, space. It's still D and D five E. Yeah, but they like tailor some shit and like flavor some shit. I read through a preview of, of some stuff, so it's it's cool. Um, Grim bids you all farewell. Look, thanks. He rockets off into the distance. And as we leave the chosen ones, once again, standing on their boat with no <laughs> spoken plan. Of really what find to our do friends. Next. Yes. I think now the first thing we should do is plan, take a nap. Now, with two spoken plans <laughs> of what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we'll end this week's episode of the Dice the Bias. Thank you so much, everyone at home, for watching. Please uh, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to comment and let us know what you thought or some of the moments that you loved. Share the video with your friends. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you get notice notifications about all the new episodes when they drop. And we'll see you next time for another wonderful, fun-filled episode of The Dice That Bind Us. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.